The new Dora Erickson Elementary School project in Idaho Falls began today with a groundbreaking ceremony. Students, staff, parents, and community new members were all invited to this event. Sasha Zimmerman has more from the school to tell us about the project. Well, even though the new school will be 30% bigger than the old one, it'll still be 50% more energy efficient. After 78% approval on District 91's $53 million bond, construction begins for Dora Erickson Elementary School in Idaho Falls. Um, just a wonderful atmosphere. The kids are excited. The parents are excited. We're all just uh, very grateful to our patrons for uh, making this uh, dream a reality. And uh, it'll be exciting in the fall when we open the new buildings. You know, some of the older kids, the fifth graders are excited until they found out that they're going to be moving to the junior high when it's actually completed. So they're a little disappointed they're not going to be in the new building. But all the kids are really excited. The new Dora Erickson Elementary School is scheduled to be complete by fall of 2013. It will house about 450 students and will have three classes for each grade level. In addition to that, it will have a library, a computer lab, a multi-purpose room, and a music room. Well, you know, one thing that I've seen with students being the principal is that environment affects them, whether it's environment out of school or in school. And so obviously if we can prepare an environment and, and get them learning in a, a place that's conducive to learning, where they feel comfortable, um, they know that that's what takes place there, they can leave some of the other things behind that, that are affecting them and just concentrate on work. And I think that students will be able to excel and, and do better just by the fact that they have better building, different lighting, and the things they need. And so what it will mean to students is that, and to teachers is that um, they'll be teaching and learning in an environment that will enable them to maximize potential uh, rather than try and work around uh, the various issues uh, that you encounter in a 50-year-old building that's been remodeled over and over and over again. Um, and it'll be an asset to the community. The new school will also have two extra classrooms to accommodate growth in the future. If you'd like to know more about what companies were awarded bids, log on to our website at www.kpvi.com. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sasha. And because of its excellent bond rating, District 91 was able to take advantage of a historically low interest rate of 2.87%. The 20-year fixed rate is lower than what was originally projected, which means the district will pay about $2.8 million less in interest. And, of course, that results in a significant savings for taxpayers.